Part of President Donald Trump's budget proposal could sharply reduce funding for a much needed program. Meals on Wheels delivers nearly a million meals a day to the sick and elderly. Michelle Miller reports. It's almost lunchtime and Meals on Wheels volunteer Sandra Bush is about to make visits to 18 seniors in Macon, Georgia. Uh, the food's on the kitchen table. Okay. Sandra like DeShazer says her arthritis oh, makes it I mean, difficult to cook. I mean, if you didn't have this service, it would be really bad because people like myself, I don't walk or drive anymore. They just can't afford to go to the grocery store and buy all the things they need. They have to depend on someone else. That's where Meals on Wheels comes in, a critical lifeline for nearly two and a half million seniors, veterans, and the disabled. A third of its $1.4 billion budget comes from the federal government. But proposed budget cuts are putting the 43-year-old program at risk. We can't spend money because on programs just because they sound good and great, but to take the, the federal money and give it to the states and say, look, we want to give you money for programs that don't work. Excuse me? I see these people waiting for their food to come every day. It works. It works for 56-year-old Linda Priest, who signed up for the program two years ago after a stroke left her in a wheelchair. Meals on Wheels delivers to her every weekday. Like most residents in Jones County, she voted for Donald Trump. Are you surprised? Yeah. Why? Because he was told I was under, under the influence that he was going to help us. What would you tell him to convince him not to cut this program? What if it was your mama? For CBS This Morning Saturday, Michelle Miller, Macon, Georgia. After the president's budget was released, Meals on Wheels has reportedly received a surge of donations and offers to volunteer.